Hey Rosebuds, it's Rosie. How's it going tonight? It is Saturday evening and I thought I'd come on and <clears throat> do a little craft with me with um, what you see here is a new Etsy item. This is a uh, journal kit, junk journal kit. <clears throat> so basically what I thought, I remember when I was just um, starting out, I really wanted uh, to do everything. One second. Okay, I'm back. I wanted to do everything, um, and I didn't have everything to do it, right? And so it takes um, a little bit of money to do the things you really want to do. Um, and I know there's a lot of things out there that people say, uh, you know, you don't have to spend a bunch of money, and that's true. Uh, but if you're anything like me, you want the stuff that you see on the videos um, or on the Instagram posts or whatever. And so I thought, what about people that are just starting out um, being a junk journaler or want to give it a try and don't want to go into the investment part of it, right? So what I've done is I have created a little kit that will give you the ability to... Um, basically make the whole kit without much of anything but glue. Uh, you could also buy some ink, uh, like like the Tim Holtz Distressed Ink, but you don't even have to do that. So today what I'm going to do is I'm not going to open this package because this one's all packed ready to go, but I am going to uh, dig out the things that I used in this package and make um, make it as if I had ordered the package. Just to show you that, uh, sorry, I gotta adjust my mic. Just to show you that this is possible and you could do this. I'm gonna have to turn on my fan because I'm a little warm. So I hope that doesn't do too much problem. All right, so I'm gonna put this little package aside because this is gonna go to somebody's, uh, this, this here is gonna go to somebody's home and they're going to be able to do what I'm doing right now. So pop that up there. Oops, it does not want to be popped up there. I'm going to, I'm going to pop it over here. Okay. So here is, um, you know what? I just realized that I did not finish, um, this one. So I'm going to just show you what I did. It's a craft with me. Might as well just go with it. Okay. So, um, on this one, let me find where my tin is. There's my tin. My tin full of, oh, actually, no. That, right. I'm using the same paper to make some little holes. And I'm going to do a little fastener thing for the, uh, the thing that's going to hold the, the, the fastener. I don't know how to talk, guys. Come on. This has been well established. Okay, oops, so I'm going to get one of these little guys that I have, and then um, I'm using these as the fastener. I have a bunch of them. I will never use this many. I hardly ever put my hair in braid, in a braid, and that's the only time I'd use them is if I put it in a braid. Okay, so I'm going to get my ruler. My ruler has it pre-measured where I want to make the hole. I'm going to just go like a fourth of an inch in. Sorry, I've got to get this in camera. I'm going to just go a fourth of an inch in or so. I'm not really going to be super accurate here. And this is the middle mark. I'm just going to poke a hole. Okay. So then what I need to do is I need to poke. Oh, actually, before I poke a hole, um, I just bought this. And let me tell you, I love this. I have um, Uhu, and I like Uhu. It's cool. Before I bought this, this was the one, but now this is the one. But I have to use up my Uhus, unfortunately. And Uhus are good too. I'm not saying the Uhus are bad, but the uh, Scotch Permanent is so much better, and it glides, guys. Like it glides so good. You know how with other glue sticks, it um, sits there and 
like grabs the paper and you're like wrinkling the paper as you're trying to put the glue stick on. It's so annoying and you get glue all over your fingers. I have noticed that this is much different. Okay, I'm going to eyeball this one. It's much different. It goes on. It's really nice and smooth and uh, I like it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, I don't know who it was that started. I think I saw it on Tina or Tanya at, at uh, Teddy Treasure first, but she saw it somewhere else. So it's just, you know, people are like finding it and going, OMG, this is great stuff. Okay, that's going to go on the back side so it's not seen. So in the kit, I did not. Um, do any so typically when I do these fasteners on my own journals that I create I'll put stain on them or a distress a distressing ink but I didn't do it on the kit because I don't know how you want to use it and I'm not going to assume you want that kind of thing on it so basically what I've done is, what I'm going to do here is I'm not going to, I'm going to do it exactly the way I did it on the kit. Oh, here, i got to hook this hole a little bit stronger. Whoops, maybe I should do this. Whoopsie days. Okay, so who has been watching Big Brother? Because I am a Big Brother addict. And let me tell you, oops, this is sticking in my finger. Ow, that hurt. Um... I'm so glad that Christmas is gone. She was so annoying to me. Sorry, Christmas fans, but she was annoying to me. I think maybe if she would have made it, she might have won just because, like, OMG, she actually made it to the end. We need to reward her. Anyway, uh, I think I want Cody to win. I don't want Nicole to win. And I, I don't want Enzo. I mean, I feel bad for Enzo because I feel like... He put himself in the position of two people that are winners. <laughs> Basically, they're going to win. And um, anyway, so that's my prediction, Cody. And if Cody doesn't win, it's going to be Nicole. I don't think Enzo has a chance, but I could be wrong. I'm just reaching over to get a little bit of washi tape out of my huge washi tape basket. I'm really starting to use my washi tape a lot more than I used to because I finally put it on my desk where I can see it and so I'm seeing it every day and I'm like, oh, I gotta put some washi tape on this. Okay. So if you saw, I, this, this is how I did it. I am. Um, when I first made it, I did this on both ends. I did the little thing and I could not get it to go around it very well so I I did this one instead I did the button and I think the button I think that me not being able to make the other one work was because I needed to put the button on it okay <clears throat> so <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> the next thing that we will do is we will go through the things I'm not gonna open that other package but we'll kind of go through actually I'm gonna open it but I'm not gonna disassemble it uh, I'm going to open it just to show you kind of what there is in here so we can I'll put that aside. Okay, so. Hello. My Instagram has um, pictures and my Etsy account has pictures of everything. So this is a package full of, um, actually I think I could probably take this off without any problem. It's got... Uh, some replacement fasteners because I mean it's possible after use that this could break and I don't know what people are using it for they could be using it for a phone book you know put their little numbers and they're gonna be using that a lot so they're gonna want some of those also those are gonna be easy to find because you just go to the CVS and get them and it's also really super easy to attach back on so it comes with little replacement fasteners um, these are little sticky things that I'll show you. I'll show you when I get to the other parts. 
I've got some little thingies uh, if you wanted to make a little um, dangle somewhere in there. There's a couple little dangle things. There's some some little clips and, a, and a safety pins and the, the bolt, light bulb pin thingies. <coughs> and then there's a baggie of paper clips. Because you gotta have paper clips in your little in your little thingy. In your little journal. Okay, so those all go back in there. Okay, and then I'm not gonna open this up, but I have a bunch of different kinds of lace um, that you can choose to use uh, to line your uh, your pages with here. Now I did say that you probably can get away with uh, only using a glue stick, but then I I need to change my listing because um, you probably do need to have at the very least some Fabri-Tac or fabric glue to put these on so that they'll stick. If you want to go farther, you could sew in the pages. You This is small enough to where you can uh, use the glue stick to glue it down, right? And then go to your sewing machine and you're going to be able to easily get it, maneuver it in your sewing machine because it's such a small little journal. So yeah, I, I just basically uh, picked up my big bin of, of, what are these called? These are called lace and sari silk and stuff like that and I just grabbed and cut out little snippets of it. This is a bag. Uh, so I have two sticker bags. I have one sticker bag that is kind of like your um, like your journaling um, when you're doing a, a planner. So it's got some of the, those kind of uh, stickers in it, the journal stick or the planner stickers. So I wanted to separate those out. So there's planner type stickers and then there's other um, just regular old fun little stickers and I even added one of the stickers that I made in the second bag of stickers. So there's two bags of stickers and if you're anything like me, I was always at the sticker stores when I was a kid. I love stickers. I have three or four little butterflies, okay, that you can stick on like the cover if you wanted to or whatever. And then remember I told you um, those little sticky back things that were square with little... Anyways, this is what they are. I don't know if you could see that. But they have little adhesive and so I stuck some on there. You just peel that off and stick it and then you could adjust the, the wings and everything to make it uh, 3D. Because what, journal, what junk journal is... It's not a junk journal unless you have butterflies, guys, come on. And then I have um, some washi tape, and then this is a bag of an ephemera, a little little bag of ephemera, little snippets of stuff. Um, and then I just, I randomly went through my washies and um, gave you guys some washi with that to put on your pages. Okay, there's that. And then this is, oh, this one I didn't show anywhere because it just doesn't look pleasing to the eye to look at, but there are little sticky notes, a few little sticky notes here and there that you can stick wherever you want to on your journals. Okay. And another thing I forgot to put in um, a picture wise, well, I actually didn't forget I didn't have enough room because you can only take 10 pictures is this uh, a napkin. Not this one particular, always, but um, this, I was thinking if somebody wanted to do a decoupage, um, you could do this with the glue stick, or if you have decoupage or Mod Podge, uh, you could also do that. Now, the only thing that's gonna be a little bit difficult is around the button, if you do it on the cover. Um, but I have faith in you guys, you could do it. I mean, honestly, you could do the decoupage here and then maybe, uh, you know, if you have stencils or something or some of the washi tape there. So, 
we'll give that a go. And then this bag is full of all of the, um, the things that go inside of the junk journal. So there's a few little things that you can use for, um, the tall tags, which I cannot for the life of me remember what those are right now. Um, but the, not the tall tags, the ones that they go here like this. Okay. And then, uh, you could slide stuff back and forth. Um, but it's just beyond me to remember what the name of that is. I have some journaling cards of different sizes that I've cut out from paper that I have. Um, I also have some planner or they're the life cards, those planner life or something like that. Um, and then here's pockets that I've, I've created. And also on the back of the pockets, I have the little sticky tape. I'm going to be making these ones with and without the sticky tape. So like you don't need glue at all for that. You just peel and stick. And then, so a little envelope that you can put in. Yeah, so that's that. And then this is just holding the same thing, this. So, oh, and then the last thing is this little uh, snippet of like threading stuff and I don't know what to really call it, yarn, cord, cording. There we go. So that's that. That's what you get in the little bag. And I'm super excited to um, have people, you know, be able to do the junk journals alongside everybody else and not feel like they have to go and spend all of their money because it is expense. It does get expensive to do it, um, and if you're not selling what you're making, then it's it's like even worse. <laughs> so it's nice to have a little thing that you can just grab and um, make, and not have to have the worry of having like a bunch of paper all at your desk, storing it, all that. Last thing. Oh, second to last thing, yeah. This one likes to be difficult. And I'll just slide that right in there. And then we'll get to crafting. How about that? And if I can, for the life of me, figure it out, I will um, probably speed up the craft with me part. Um, and so you don't have to watch a four hour video or three hour whatever so I'm gonna start the process and I think I'm gonna start with a napkin just just to try that out and see I mean this will be the first time I try it so <clears throat> let's see if we can get this napkin to get onto the I really like this. Butterflies are my thing. So I'm thinking I might want to just go he from here to here and then have the edges out. So I think, um, first of all, I think I'm going to cut it before I separate it because it'll be easier to cut. So let me see. Oops. Now that I have the cut, I could probably just finish it without the book. Okay, and I think that it should be okay to cut it here.
Is there another one even? I feel like there's another. No, I guess not. Okay. So basically it's going to go like that. And then fold over. That'll look nice. The butterfly, the front butterfly won't make, or the, that butterfly won't make it onto the front, but that's okay. Part of it will. So that's how I'm going to do it. And then I'll do whatever there. Okay. So let's do our theory that this will work. See how nice and, oh gosh, it just glides, guys. It glides. I love it. Oops. And then it proves me wrong. And then it proves me wrong. I'm just trying to put a lot on here because usually I'd, mod, I'd do a Mod Podge of this and not um, do it this way. But we're going to just try our theory out and see what we come up with. And if this doesn't work, I mean, it could be put on the interiors as well. Let me just see where... So I don't like the way that's uneven because I'm just really super OCD and I think I have to have things even. So let's see if I can pretend that that's even by doing that. Oops. I mean, you guys don't have to go this far. I'm just OCD about stuff. Here we go. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. That's cute. Okay, so I'm going to go around and try to get um, whatever didn't catch. I know this is the cumbersome part, but it'll do it. Now we cut. Now we trim. Mm -hmm. okay, do that first. Oops. Okay. And I got a little trimming to do here. And then um, I am going to do, I'm going to assume that you guys are going to have the distressing ink and I'm going to, I'm going to distress. Uh, so I am going to actually use this, but you could easily use that. I'm just going to use this because I'm, I'm kind of used to using this nowadays. And um, yeah. yeah, I'm just going to use this to make sure I don't too crazy on it. I'm going purple because uh, of the purpleness and like I like purple. I, I'm trying to make an excuse other than the fact that I like purple, but I mean, the fact that I like purple is good enough reason. Okay, so you know what? Look, there was another one. There was another layer. I, did, I knew there was another layer. So when you're doing it, there's three layers, guys. So this is basically what you would be doing with the uh, with this, is you would just be going along here like that. I just, I don't know, like to use these, I guess. Oops. 
but that's okay because whatever like it's still pretty here I'm gonna, well no I'm not gonna get out my stencils because I didn't include stencils in the kit and I don't want to include I don't want to use things that I didn't include necessarily this a little bit of glue here. Just gonna rub it off. Sorry for the shake. That's what you. That's one thing you just have to be careful of is the, the glue on um, if it gets outside and then you try to do the with the distressing ink, um, it will pick it up. So I I did a little bit too much here, so I'm trying to make up for my mistake by making it a little blotchy back there. So there we go. So there's our front cover. Okay, let's get into it. Let's dig in. So I'm gonna get my, uh, oops. This is, I've been doing a lot of cutting, guys. I've been doing a whole bunch of cutting, and so this is my box that I'll be pulling from to do the, um, the kits, to putting the kits together. And one thing that I realized after I put together the kit is that, um, I made these a little bit too thick and, um, or too wide, and so I'm going to have to cut them down while we're here on the video just to make them fit in right. Whoops, I'm dropping stuff. Okay, so I'm going to just try to go with the purple theme, I guess, since I'm doing that. I, I can probably fit one of those in. That's cute. And then... We have some of these. Let's see. Mm, that's cute. Some of those cards. I might not be pulling out as many as I put in the kit, but um, we're going to be doing a similar thing here. I think I'll do a butterfly. And let's see. Let's do one of those. Okay. That should be enough for right now. We'll see. Um. And if not, then I'll... Oops. Oh, I just... I just dumped my... I just dumped that whole thing. So, I will have a cleanup job to do after this video is over. Okay. I'm going to just repair this really quick. So, this is the conundrum or the problem. I don't know if I used that right. That word. I like that word. Uh, that's a problem with doing the napkin on the front. It's going to get a lot of use, so you might decide you don't want to, or decoupaging might be the way to go on that. Now, I do have, um, there's a video, I'll link it, but Taddy Treasures uh, saw a video, Tanya over, saw a video one day, and she had, um, she made this glaze that has, like, decoupage, and, um, it has, I can't think of the word, but here, it has this kind of stuff in it, maximum hold hair gel, there we go, and then pigment, pigment, and um, it's glaze that can go over, and so it turns out a little bit shiny, so I might, after this video, I might do that, and then I will try to remember to link that video um, in, in, the, in the bottom notes part. Okay, let's get into this so that I'm not taking your whole day and night and everything. Oh, I just um, turned on a video. Sorry. Okay, and I turned it off. Alrighty. I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Since mine aren't already pre-sticked, and I'm kind of running out of that pre-sticky stuff. I'm going to save that for my kits. And I'm going to do um, Fabri-Tac. fabri right now, I think it's running like 11 bucks a bottle. Ugh, it's so expensive. But, you know, everybody's using it nowadays because we're all like into this journal thing. Okay, crafting thing. Okay, I gotta get remove some of this. That, oops. Okay, I don't want it to stick in the middle. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick this one down here. 
I'm just going to stick these down first and let, give them time to dry. So I think I'm going to have to cut this one down. Yeah, I'm going to cut this one down a little bit. Just, just a little, and then I have to round the corners again. I hate how squeaky that thing is. didn't work but uh, this will kind of wear that down a little bit so I can grab it there we go so basically what I'm doing here is there's I mean uh, distressing this is not really something that's gonna happen because it's so dark but I'm I'm taking away the white edge the white lines I don't know about you but I hate seeing the white lines that's just a me pet peeve thing and so I like to get rid of them okay and then I'm going to put this one right here. I really need to get an empty one of these. I'm going to put my glue upside down in that little jar. So what happens is it gets, it starts drying and then it won't come out right. That's better. Okay. Make sure that I'm the same side. Okay, so I'm going to just put that there. Actually, I think I'm going to move that closer there because I might do some, I might do some lace right there. And it's okay if that's like that because I'm going to put, I'm going to put something there so it'll, it'll go away. Um, a sideways or maybe, um, I didn't do very many, oops, I've got to get into my mess of, uh, this mess that I made. Oh my goodness. I'm always cleaning up messes, guys. I like craft and then and then I have like a huge mess to clean up. Okay, one second. I'm gonna try to pick this up without dropping it off. Okay. I did it. I succeeded. Okay. Oh, it is warm in here right now. there and it won't fall this time because yeah because I said so okay I'm gonna make this one a corner tuck and first I've got to cut it where did my um there it is Of course it didn't work the first time. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> My son is playing video games and he's playing with his friends and getting a little bit rambunctious over there. My goodness. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do, I'm not going to round that corner because it's gonna go right into a little corner. I just started watching um, this show, I think it's called Mercedes Man or something like that. 
on Peacock. And I don't know what station it originally came from, but it looks kind of good. I love true crime. True crime's like my thing. I forgot I was going to put that there. Um, so it's kind of a, it's not a true crime, but it's a crime story. And so I love all that kind of stuff. I have a little bit of a headache. Oh, gee. I had my husband make me a, an alcoholic drink. Maybe I drank it too fast. I don't know. But it was good. Something with cranberry and rum and I don't know, something else. Okay. Put that back. next page one thing I do need to do is a, a band a belly band that's what those were guys that I was trying to remember what the name was um, let me see. I think I have some belly bands in here I do I'm on I'm recording that just FYI okay let's see what we got here that's cute we'll do that one Let's do a belly band. Uh-oh, things are dropping. All right. So. Way. Maybe it's not the lazy way. Maybe it's just the way. Okay. <clears throat> I should get my uh, ink out again. Oh, oof, that's strong. That went on heavy. Oops. That's all right. I'm thinking about doing a couple of videos where I just play uh, my, my uh, not videos necessarily, some live streams where I just play my chill step type music and craft and just go with it, you know? Because, I mean, sometimes it's... It's nice to just listen to music and craft. I mean, sometimes is like all the time for me. Either that or watching a show while I'm crafting. I need to use my finger to spread that out a bit. As uh, Pam at the Paper Outpost would say, the handy dandy finger tool. Yeah, so I think I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm trying to work out a, a different situation with doing live feeds, because I, I tried it on Twitch, I don't know if, if any of you are familiar with Twitch, I tried to do live stream on Twitch, oh, that was supposed to go on this one, but that's okay, or maybe not, it was supposed to go on this one, but that's okay, anyway, so I was uh, doing that, and it just didn't work right, but I'm getting, um, I'm switching around my computers, and so I think that probably um, I can do a live stream without much lag. I'm gonna, I'm cutting this pocket down because it was too tall in my opinion. Right. Okay, so that pocket's gonna go there and I still have to glue it down and everything. I think I am gonna use the tape. On this one. Oops, I made a little bit of a boo boo. I'm gonna skip some pages actually because some of them paper clips can go on and I don't have to put it I don't have to put a pocket or a belly band on every single one. Wow, look at how awful I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this a little bit by doing a little bit of an awful job.
and then this is what I do. So now what's going to happen is it's going to be intentional. That was intentional, guys. I meant to do all that. Okay. Goes with the theme. And I'll probably put a sticker there, and so it'll just be fine. It'll be just fine. I'm going to put it on this one instead of that other one. So, I got a new job. I start Monday. I'm so excited. A job with... Uh, the county, or a city, a government, um, and yeah, it's like the position I'm filling is a temp position while they look for um, somebody to fill their full-time position, which I also applied for, and they know that I applied for it, um, so that would be super awesome if I could just take that position, right? Because I've got a foot in because I'm already going to be there for two or three months before they fill that position. So, you know, why not just take, take the chick that's been sitting here for two months and knows what's going on and you don't have to retrain. I mean, that's what I think. We'll see how it goes. I interviewed with the person that would be my boss and she seemed like we laughed most of the time. It was... It was great. It was like the best interview. And like <laughs> I was in my car and I answered the phone and usually when I answer the phone and I'm in my car, it'll just transfer Im immediately to my car, but it didn't. And so I'm like, hello, hello, hold on just a minute. <laughs> like, Oh my goodness. I'm not going to get this job. And she just was cracking up over it. She thought it was hilarious, and she was telling me about how the, they were having pains with phone issues, too. So, it worked. And we just, it was just, it went uphill from there. Oh, I need to actually put one right here really quick. So, yeah, uh, it was kind of nice. I had uh, almost two weeks off of work, of no work, and... Um, that was really nice. I was kind of getting used to it, but you know, got to bring in the dollar bill to pay the bills. So, although I would love to just craft all day, it does not bring in the same amount of money that um, me going to work and doing accounting work brings in. So, it's best for me and the family that I just. Oh, I got glue on my fingers. I just go do that. But I'm still going to be doing this. Because I love doing the crafting. Okay. Whoops. Stuck my finger in the glue. What the heck is my problem tonight? It was probably the drink before the video. <laughs> to be honest. Sorry. Okay, so I've got that one. Let's go down another, let's go to this page and do, I want to do a sideways one. So I need to cut this down a little bit. Now in the kit, you're already going to have, these are all going to be cut down. You're not going to have to worry about, oh, is, am I going to have to worry about cutting it down? No, you will not. You're going to have these things already done for you, totally created so that you could just stick and go. Um, And that's what's so nice about it because you get the you get the feel of being a junk journal maker, right? And you also get to I mean, sure there's preset stuff that you're sent, but you get to design it in whichever way you want. Like you don't have to put the napkin on the cover, you can put the napkin wherever you want. You do, like you do whatever you want on that. So it still gives you the ability to be uniquely you. I love. Okay, so what I'm thinking on this one is that I'm going to put this here, I'm going to have one of my little cards, and then I'm going to do a paper clippy thing here. So, yep. <laughs> Try 
it's 44 minutes. We have 15 minutes before it's an hour video. And I just don't think I, I think it's going to take me longer than 15 minutes. So I hope you hang in there with me. Hopefully if I uh, fast forward through some of this, um, it won't be as long and it will be okay. I got this one. This one's pretty. We could do that one there, or I could cut it down. I'll cut it down. Cut like a fourth of an inch off of it on each side. glue on my fingers. Okay, let's turn this around here. I love this paper. It's like, it's pink background and the green. I don't know. I think the pink and the green go so good together. It's one of my favorites. Alternatively, if you wanted a nice, clean, crisp journal without any of the distressing, it, these are going to look fine without doing what I'm doing on the distressing side of things. I'm just doing that because it's my preference and I wanted to show you how you can make uh, a junk journal similar to some of the other ladies that make them. And there's about 15 to 16 pages in each journal as well. So there's plenty of room to do some fun little stuff. I don't think that I want any of these. Let me bring out my big container of things. Maybe. That one's cute. I have a lot that I have cut into squares and haven't finished because, man, it takes a long time to get all those done. I think I'm gonna, actually, I think I'm gonna use this one too. It sure does take a long time to punch, like, to cut them all out and then to punch a little hole and then to punch corners. It's like amazing how much time it takes to do all of that. Okay, I do like that one, if I could find one like that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I did a whole bunch of cutting one night when I was uh, not really, I was just, didn't feel like crafting much and I was really excited about my idea of making a kit and so I just, I decided, ah, oh, just watch shows while I sit here and cut paper up. That worked. That worked for me. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Just ignore my process. I'm just trying to line it up. Right. Eyeballing it. Okay. I don't know, did I use this one already? I probably did. <laughs> All right. Oops, that one didn't punch very good. Man, I'm sloppy tonight. What's going on? What the heck? Okay, so I've got that, and I think 
did there last time. Maybe if I do... You know what, I think I'm going to do that. And then I could just stick one up there. And then that'll kind of even out the thickness because we're getting kind of thick down there as well. Oh, I'm so glad I brought that little uh, container out to put this upside down because it makes things go so much faster. I don't have to wait for it. So on these, if the the lace that I'm going to put on here goes over this, it's okay. That's not a big deal for the lace to go over it. That'll look good. Okay. Cutting this down a little bit. And I think I'll cut this one down as I'm doing it. Since I have it out. Then around these corners. Oops. What happened there? Come on, guys. Work as expected, please. That worked. Okay. And then on this one, I'm just going to get the white edges buffed out with the purple. This is actually, you could write on it with uh, chalk, which is kind of neat. I like that. Uh, tomorrow I have to do all my laundry and get all my business clothes together because I've been living in pajamas. And in my last job, I was get got to wear jeans every day, and I'm not really sure what the dress code is, so... I have to pull out all my business clothes, which I hate wearing, ugh, but I will do what I need to do to get the paycheck so I can buy more crafting stuff, right? No, oh, so I can pay bills, basically. This COVID thing kind of hit us hard. I mean, I've had a job basically throughout the whole thing, but my husband lost his job, and I don't know, it's just kind of been trying to keep up with the, the credit cards is rough. And then every time we pay it down, then we need it, and oh, Rebecca, it's just like this vicious cycle, I hate it. I would rather just go back to paying cash for everything, that's what I used to do. And I liked it a lot more. I'll put it over here. Because then it's like done, you're done, you're done. You don't have credit cards to pay, you don't have you just have your regular bills to pay. And then that's it. So much less stressful. But I will say that it has saved us a lot. Uh of hassle for some things, you know, having having them credit cards available for us. Okay, I like this one. I'm going to cut that one down, and then that's the last pocket that I'm going to do. longer either because my phone storage is starting to get a little full so I'm probably gonna have to delete some apps just to get this video posted Ugh. I'm hoping that the whole webcam cam situation on my other computer instead of my laptop which I'm using now 
um, will work because my other computer has a lot. It's it's newer and it's I mean it runs video games on it, so can't do that on my laptop. So hopefully it will do the trick, and I can stop worrying about my phone storage so much. Okay. Gloopy glue. I guess that's good enough. Okay. So I'm going to go really fast and do so. I don't know my keyboard. Some lace. <sighs> do you see it? Let's go up a little bit. There. <laughs> okay, I'll be fast. I'm just gonna grab a few little ones that I like. Oops. I need to really get a whole handle on this uh, lace container here. Jeez, I got so much lace. I'm going to use that. I dyed that the other day and it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but I am going to use it. Oops. Oops, I just... I'm like on a race here now. I'm trying to get it done before it's too late and I have too long of a video. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay. Does that work? Oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah, it'll still do the thingy. Cool. Okay, let's. Oh, oh. I looked at this one and I thought, oh my goodness, what did I do? But I did that purposely, didn't I? Let me just uh, remind myself that that was done on purpose by getting one of these longer. Do I not have one of the long ones? I thought I, yeah, here we go. A mess. There. Okay, so that was purpose. That was on purpose, guys. Let's do some lace on a page that doesn't have anything on it. Actually, I think I'm going to do some of this. So then it'll be like pretty little. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn it this way to cut. You know what? I'm going to do a little tab. It's going to be a little tabby. Okay, this one's going to be uh, a fun one to do because it's got so many holes in it. Oops, I forgot to put this back in the jar. I'm going to remember to do that for it to work. So I'm going to squeeze it on here and then I'm going to rub it around and then maybe that'll be get more, or what should I say, less messy? Not more messy. There. Okay. And then I'm going to 
just turn this right here. If I can. I'll do that. I like that. I love the little frillies down at the bottom. I always like to do something like that. Okay, and then looks like some glue came out. One thing I love about Fabri-Tac is it just the stuff that comes seeps out just rubs right off. Alright, so now we do a little tabby. using the leftover part of the napkin and that was not working. It was making matters much worse actually. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Um, let's do some other lace. Let's do some of this. Let's do the arrows down instead of up. And I forgot to put it down again. One thing that I have been using um, my journals for recently is um, little like cards. So for, you know, special occasions or sympathy cards or congratulations, happy anniversary. And what I've done with mine is I have um, actually done I have the journal and then I want the little note cards to have, um, or the little, yeah, I guess we'll call them note cards, the little journaling cards to have cute little notes, or not cute, necessarily cute, but little notes from people. So like, let's say somebody got married and we're in this COVID environment, right, where we can't really see each other. If you were so inclined, you can get a list of people that you want to be able to congratulate the um, husband and wife and maybe like a guest book kind of thing where people you send um, you send people on your list the cards so that they can write out a special little note to the bride and groom and then this note goes into this journal that is now a, a memory keeper for them and that they'll always have these little handwritten notes. So like in this era of COVID where we can't have these big receptions where people come in and sign the books, this is like, can take the place of that. And alternatively, um, there were some people that I were, I was doing this, I was doing something like this recently. And there were some people that I said, oh, we'll email, we'll, we'll go ahead and email. And then um, I was able to print it out on, some newspaper print paper and fold it up, you know, distress it, fold it up, put it in one of the little pockets as a nice little, you know, a different kind of a note to them. So that's one way that you can really um, use these and kind of do something special for somebody. Somebody, uh, one of my friends said this is like something you give somebody that has everything, which I thought was really true because when a person that has everything gets something like this, it's like a unique, a super unique kind of a gift, right? So they're not gonna, no, nobody else is probably gonna give them this kind of thing. So not only are you giving them something memorable, they're having something that they're always gonna remember as such a unique little gift. So anyway, I just thought I'd 
throw that idea out there. There's all kinds of things you could do with junk journals. This is one of my favorite laces and I'm almost out. And I think I put this in that one journal so you're the one package so whoever gets that package is gonna get like some of the last lace that I have of this kind I just think it's so delicate and pretty okay let's do some more we're at one hour five minutes yikes what am I doing Okay, I don't want to put it there, so I'm going to put it on this side, because I've been putting it on that. Anyway, OCD. OCD strikes again. Okay. And I'm just, on this one, I'm just letting things hang down a little bit, because uh, I like that. That's just my preference. You do what you feel good about. Stinking glue. Oh, my, uh, let me turn that off. Okay. My show, I accidentally turned it on again. I've got chill step type music in the background that is, uh, not being copyright infringed. I pay for the service to use for streaming videos, just in case anybody was wondering or worried doing things above the board. Okay, so I was going to let it hang down a little bit. That's good. Scoot this this way a little bit. Okay. And then I think this is a little... Oh, actually it's not. I'm going to let that go too. Why not? This is a junk journal. Okay, it's looking more like a junk journal every minute, isn't it? Okay. Let's do some of this. I like this. Gosh, I hate it when it doesn't cut right. There. Okay, I'm going to let it go there. I'm wasting so much time because I keep forgetting to put this uh, stinking bottle in. I need to fill the bottle up and then it'll come out really fast. Almost. There we go. Perfect. Oh, here. Putting it in the jar. Gosh my problem. Okay, this is going to be a little bit crooked, I see. Okay, and then let's see, maybe one more. I think I'm going to put a belly band right here also. Or maybe I should do a lace belly band. How about that? Let's see that. I'm gonna glue it and then I'm gonna cut it. Then it'll be like perfection. Perfection. I love this lace. I have some of it that I've dyed pink. Did I do it the right way? I never know if I'm doing it the right way. They both look the same, so I guess I did do it the right way. Okay, so. I might also pop a staple on those. And then uh, do some washi tape on the back. Because I don't always trust. Yeah, I could do staples and then washi tape. That'll look cute. Okay, let me see. What, what the heck am I doing here? I don't want to cut the other lace. Did I use 
use all the lace that I pulled out? I think I did. Okay, I'm going to put that over there out of the way. And then I'm going to get my tiny staple. Should I do it this way? I think I will. I'm feeling where I should staple. Did that work? It worked. And then I'm going to flatten those staples down a little bit because I don't want them to poke anybody. Okay. Get this and flatten them down a little bit. I could even put something across there and across here lace-wise. I might do that just because I'm OCD. I have this still that I could use. I could just put some here and then some here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna let it hang out a little bit. Oh, that was so not straight. What the heck? Yep, I'm doing that. Ugh, oh, look at... Guys, I'm never 